What's good everyone? This is Angel of CR Gaming and welcome to my very first Pokemon Nuzlocke. First off, man, it's been a long, long while since I've made a actual video. I've been focusing on all my live streams pretty much. So, you know, I'm trying to get my stuff together, explore the live streaming world. And actually, it's been pretty fun. But uh, I decided to do something different as the first ep uh, return episode. Well, not episode, but the first return video. And this will be it. So before we get into any more Legend of Zeldas and um, Wario's, we're going to actually do this. And I want to try this out because I see a lot of people in the Pokemon community trying it out. Said it was pretty fun, so let's get right to it. Uh, before we do anything else, though, I need to switch that to fast and we can start our new game. Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First off, what is your name? Let's see, since I can't fit my full name here, I'll just put my initials. A, lowercase o, right there. And CRG for CR Gaming. Yes. Man, my name is too long. Right, so your name is AOCRG. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Uh, what is his name? That's messed up. <laughs> like, you have a grandfather that forgot your name, but he's able to remember everything else. Uh, we'll call him Blue. You know what? I don't know why I did that. His name was already in the list. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Oh, well. AOCRG, your very own Pokemon legend, is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventure with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Damn, dude, you shrunk me? All right, man, this brings back so many memories. This was actually the third Pokemon game I actually played. I've played Red as my first, like literally my very first Pokemon game. I had played Red and I had played Blue after that. And then Pokemon Yellow was the third one that I played. And after that, the Gen 2 came out. A little after Pokemon Yellow, so I ended up playing Silver, and then Gold, and then Crystal Last. Hey, wait, don't go out there! Son of a bitch. That was close. Wild Pokemon live in the grass. Well, yeah, I can see that. Now, I gotta point this out. This guy is a straight-up legend. He might be a professor, but this man apparently used to be a trainer back in the day. Look at how he catches a level 5 Pikachu that's stubborn as hell with a single Pokeball and nothing else. Phew. A Pokemon can appear anytime in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Uh, sure. I mean, you're giving me a free pet, so... Hee! Man. How's everybody been doing lately? I have been away from making videos for a while. I actually needed a break. For those of you who don't understand what it's like to make videos, it can be extremely overwhelming. And I learned that early on. You know, most most uh, creators tend to not understand that. You know, right off the bat, it takes them a while to understand it. Me, I started to understand that from the very, very beginning. I'm like, damn, dude. What? Hey, wait a minute. You, oh my god. And another thing too I want to point out. Your arrival is a major prick through the entire series. Up until you kick his butt at the very end of the game. He's just a, oh bro, he's a jerk. Yeah, that's right, I'm getting my own Pokemon. Get out of my face. This is the Pokemon I caught earlier. You can have it. I caught it in the wild and it's not tame yet. Woo, got Pikachu. I know exactly what to nickname him, guys, so let's nickname him right now. Let's call him Sparky. Yes. Damn, the controls. Uh, R, K, Y. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Sparky. Oh, my God. Here we go. The first battle. Now, for those of you who are trying to understand the Nuzlocke challenge, I will leave it plain and simple. Um, basically, if a Pokemon faints or at, at, like at any point it's considered dead so you either have to deposit it into the box or you have to release it yes and that's including pikachu even though the game is about him you do have to let him go if it happens though i'm just saying 
Um, another thing is, every other rule varies. I can make the game as hard as I can or as easy as I can. For me, I want to set some standard rules. You know what I mean? I want to set some minor, uh, like, quantities for me to have in the game. And he just killed Pikachu. This doesn't count, by the way, guys. Your first time you have to let go of a Pokemon will be right when you are able to get Pokeballs. From my, from my understanding, you know, from watching other videos and reading, it, it doesn't really count as a loss until I get my very first Pokeball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so my very first Pokeballs, pretty much. As soon as I get those, that's when the challenge starts. So as of right now, it's just an introduction. Let's see what Pikachu... Whoa! Damn, you turn your back on me because you lost? Excuse me, sir, but I'm not the one fighting. Damn. All right, so let's go up. Uh, by the way, guys, there are three potions. Uh, one in the house. There's one by this guy up here. He's right there, and there's a fight. One right there. That guy gives you one, and he apparently works for the Viridian Pokemart. And when you get into Viridian City, I will show you the, uh, this one route before you get to the Indigo Plateau. It's a small pathway, and that pathway literally, you take it straight north, and then you go east, and there'll be a tree block in it, and you click on the tree, then there will be a pokey, uh, poke, that ah, sorry, can't talk today. There will be a potion waiting there for you. But yeah, back to the rules on the game. So they faint, deposit, or you release. Um, everything varies. You can set, uh, you know, all different types of rules. Uh, there's another main rule if you encounter a first Pokemon in any route that's the first Pokemon you have to catch the only time you don't have to catch this uh, a Pokemon that you already had like it, it's uh, how do I put it if let's say you run into a Pidgey right like if I run into a Pidgey right now in the route below me um, if I run into a Pidgey and I catch him fine if I go to another route, like let's say, you know, going toward Viridian Forest and I run into another Pidgey, I don't have to catch him. I'm not supposed to catch doubles. So, I could either kill him or run. And I am supposed to catch a different species. Even if it means uh, the evolution of that Pokemon, it still counts. But I cannot, you know what I mean? So it's, it's just little things that make the game challenging from what I understand. Um... Other than that, it's not that bad. Uh, the only thing I am going to be doing differently is I'm going to limit myself the amount of times I can go to a, uh, what do you call it, to a Pokemon to purchase potions. I'm going to limit the amount of Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls I can carry. And I'm also going to limit the amount of times I could visit the uh, Pokemon Center and heal my team. So the way I'm doing it is simple. Pokemon, for every single, um, damn, I can't even get it off the tip of my tongue. I'm sorry, guys. Um, got it. Okay, I got it back. So for every Pokemon that I visit in every town, I'm only allowed three team heals, which means if I really need to heal, I will have to go and heal. But that counts. So if I heal once at a Pokemon, I only have two more heals in that town. Um, I'm only allowed 50 potions, which everybody knows potions aren't much they're like 20 hp i'm only allowing myself 15 uh i'm only allowing myself 15 super potions 10 hyper potions and five and yes i mean five and i'm not kidding i could only use five revives or revives i'm sorry full restores let me get that right. Five full restores. No revives. I'm sorry. It, I'm still trying to get the rules down in my head while doing this entire video. Um, so that's it for my for the healing aspect. As far as Pokeballs, I'm allowed unlimited Pokeballs. But however, I'm going to limit myself the Great Balls and the uh, Ultra Balls. I'm going to allow myself only a total of like 20 Great Balls and... 15 Ultra Balls. So once I run out of those, I'm pretty much screwed. And most Pokemon you have to catch in this game require you to have great Ultra Balls. Uh, you can use Pokeballs, but a lot of them won't be really effective. Once, Even if they're weakened or sleeping or whatnot. So, I mean, 
it, it's going to be a, uh, really unique for me to try that out. Eventually, I do want to make it a little tougher where I just limit myself one team heal per Pokemon and per location. Um, you know, maybe no healing items just to bump up the stakes. So it's going to be interesting. It's, you know, I, I'm really down for the entire thing. But now that we got everything here, we got our Pokedex. Let's buy some Pokeballs. I'm really going to need that. Let's see. So, you know what? I might need those potions. Uh, I'll hold on to those potions. I'll hold on to them. All right. So, let's buy some balls. Let's see. Um, 15 only? That's fine. There goes all my money. Okay. So, now we're going to get right into this. So, we got to go to the route below us right when we're coming into Viridian. And we got to catch ourselves another Pokemon. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Let's see, come on. What will be my first... Whoop, they didn't want to do that. Who's my first victim? Oh? Who is it? A Pidgey. Okay, well... Go, Sparky! We're going to take him down. Not really. He's going to be with us on the team. Let's see. Oh, my God. I almost killed him. Oh, and another thing. I almost forgot to tell you guys. Um... If you kill the first encounter in any of the routes, you cannot catch any Pokemon in those routes. So, if I killed him, I could not go back to that route. Whew. But on the flip side, we got a bird Pokemon. Alright, so, I know the perfect name to give this uh, Pidgey. We're going to call him Ace. Yeah, you know what? Ace sounds perfect. I was going to call him something really goofy, but really wouldn't fit his name, so... Ace it is. Alright, so Ace is number two on our slot. This is fucking dope. Okay, let's see. This is going to be really challenging because I've never tried a challenge. Um, there is a route on this side. Now, you get a, you have a chance of either getting a Rattata, a Minky, or both Nidorans. Nidoran male and female. So, uh, let's hope we get either the Nidorans or a Mankey because they're going to be crucial for our fight with Brock. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, wish me luck. Oh, I hope I don't get a run. <gasps> we got a female Nidoran. Perfect. This is going to work out just fine. All right. Weaken her down a little bit. Uh, should we throw a ball? No, 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 not yet. Thank God she growled. She waking down my attack, which means she's still alive. All right. Let's throw a ball. And she kind of looks like a bunny. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be a little nostalgic here and a little cheesy, but this, I'm going to call her Lola. Yeah, it's like Lola Bunny. So instead of putting Lola Bunny, we're just going to put Lola. And right there. Perfect. Sweet. Now we got three. Uh, we need to catch two more. So one just north of us before we get into Viridian Forest. And then we got to catch one in Viridian Forest. And I have to heal my whole team. But before we do that, we got to talk to this cranky old dude. He was mad because he didn't get his coffee. <clears throat> and he does teach you guys how to catch Pokemon. But apparently he thinks he's Professor Oak. I mean, just just look at it. Look at the way he tries to capture this Rattata. It's ridiculous. Look at that. Two, three. Oh, that didn't work. I must be losing my touch. I ran out of Pokeballs too. Well, duh. You only used one. Perfect. Now he's out of way though, so we're gonna go right ahead and we're getting out of here. We're going north, and uh, where's that patch of grass? I think it's right here. Yep. Yep. Okay, we need to catch another one. Uh, hopefully we run into the uh, male Nidoran, which is possible to run in into him right here. Uh, who do we get? Oh, oh God, a Rattata. Oh, my God. You know what? He kind of reminds me of one of my friends. I know exactly what name I'm going to give him. This is going to be funny. If he is going to be watching this video, he's probably going to be pissed at me, but it's okay. Me and my friends are a bunch of shit talkers. Well, at least amongst each other, so... That's all cool. It's all cool. We got ourselves a Rotato. And guess what? I'm gonna nickname him right now. 
Luis, I'm sorry you're gonna be mad at me for this, but I have to. <laughs> he looks just like you, bro. <laughs> Luis! Oh, okay, we got Luis taking up the fourth spot. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. So let's go right over here. We got a cat. Now, I need to try to catch a Caterpie or a Weedle or a, um, or a Metapod or a Kakuna. But before we do that, we need a Pokeball. Now we're back up one. Uh, there is a possible chance I could run into a Pidgeotto at a high level, and that is bad news for me. First off, I don't need to run into a Pidgeotto. Uh, oh, a Caterpie. Perfect. All right, Sparky, do your thing. Let's see. Let's get you down some. Oh, that is, that is perfect. Okay. So let's throw that sucker right there. Awesome. Now we got an actual team. And not a full team, but an actual decent team. Got level four. All right. Yes. And let's call him uh, Virus. I think that's a really dope name for a Caterpie. <laughs> okay. So now, let's see. I think all my Pokemon are hurt. Yeah. You know what? Now that I... <laughs> Oops, now that I think about it, let me check. Let's get potions to... Woo, almost everybody. Okay, you know what? We're just going to use our first team heal. Uh, just going to save the trouble. All right, let's go to the Pokemart. Or Pokemon Center. Let's go over here. Why did I go in the marts? Let me turn around. Oh my god. Excuse me guys, it's been a while. I haven't played a single first gen Pokemon game in whew, a long, long time. I've pretty much beaten every single Pokemon game except for maybe... I know I haven't played Sun and Moon, so that's out of the question. No, there's a lot of them I haven't played yet. Let's see, everybody's already healed. Sparky, Ace, Lola, Virus, and Luis. Alright. Now, I'm not going to be able to get to the uh, Pewter City gym anytime soon. First off, everybody I have needs to be trained, and I need to be trained thoroughly. So, that means I probably, most likely, will be using potions, and I will be using team heals. So, I got two left, and that's... That's okay, so far. I can deal with that. Alright, let's see. That's, uh, the way I like to train in here is running into a bunch of Metapod. And, oh, speaking of the devil, look! It's a Metapod. Metapod are perfect for training, in my honest opinion. If I get all the rest of my team to a high enough level, like 6 or 7, I can run through this entire forest with 6 or 7 training off of metapod but for right now since all of them are kind of weak i had do have to do the uh switching so this will be one of those processes guys and i'm sorry but i'm not gonna go and challenge the trainer knowing damn well my pokemon are not perfect and well not not that they're not perfect but they're not ready enough to actually handle an actual battle with trainers so for a while in this video i'm just going to be training pretty much that's all i'm going to be doing is training 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 maybe the next video i'll be doing some training and some pokemon battles on viridian but other than that uh looks like we're going to be stuck doing this for a while and like i said before there is a good possible chance i could run into a pidgeotto which is not good Running into a Pidgeotto in here, he can literally take out my whole team. Oh my god, why? You little, oh, you bastard. Oh no, no, come on. Kill him. He's only a bird. Oh! Oh no, no, no. Um, let's use a potion. Alright, out of 50 potions, now I'm at 49. Oh my god, bro. Whoa, hold up a minute. Alright, 48. I'm not going to be doing this with you, you stupid bird. 
Oh my god, he just completely blocked me from hitting him. Yep, I'm running. Alright, so I wasted two potions, so I'm at 48 potions that I'm allowed to use now. Damn it. And another canopy. You know what? Why not? I'll weaken him and send out Luis, and Luis can fight him. This is really odd for me, because I usually always run into Metapod. But, you know what? No, let's, let's knock him out. Because I don't really trust that just yet. Alright, let's go down south. Oh my god, bro. This Pidgey, they want me. They want me so bad. Nope, I don't want to fight you. You guys cheat. You and your damn sand attack. No oh, bastards. Oh, another Caterpie. You know what? That might be a... I don't know. I don't know. I might. I might throw one of the other team members out. Hmm. No. No, no. I don't know. I'm debating. Because Caterpie isn't really that strong, but he can be a pain in the butt. Uh, well, he's dead. Perfect, perfect. Alright, let's walk around here. Uh, around here. Anybody? Anybody? No? Hmm. Oh, a Metapod. Perfect. So I'm going to weaken him and throw out Luis. And Luis is going to go ahead and try to gain his level. Because he really needs to go up. That's like the weakest, weakest member in my entire team. Oh, that never happens. Paralyzed. Alright, Luis, do your thing. I'll do a little bit of tackle. This is going to be the... Oh, paralyzed. I missed. Now, the only thing with uh, fighting a Metapod is they use Harden, which... For a lot of you new, younger viewers who are just learning about Pokemon, Harden essentially makes them a little bit more harder to hit, like a little bit stronger to hit, so like, their defense goes up, so if I hit them, they only lose a little HP every time they use Harden to the point where it barely does anything. But luckily for us, that one was uh, paralyzed, which made it a little bit more easier, so alright, we're moving on, and Sparky went to level 6! sweet even though i'm not that's another thing you guys will learn hey luis is at level four um the thing you guys learn about me as far as pokemon i am not a universal battler the way i like to call it i like to call it a universal battler uh what i mean by that is i don't i'm not a defensive um a battler you know i don't use defensive moves I am not a defensive offensive. I am just mainly all offensive. So I use the strongest moves that I can possible to beat an entire Pokemon game. I do that throughout every single game I've ever played. And that's why I don't do the online battling, you know, with the Nintendo DS and as far as the newer games. Because I know damn well I suck at putting move sets that'll make me the best trainer for online. So since I don't really play online much anyway, as far as for the DS for Pokemon games, I just decided to keep to myself and just use the moves that I have in order to beat the game. That is it. Ah, uh, fucking pitch. Oh, by the way, guys, that person right there is a trainer. And I'm not even kidding. She is a trainer. In Pokemon Red and Blue, you, she is not there. But in Yellow, she's there. And she is... Technically, the first official trainer outside of the intro that you can fight. And she actually does pack a punch. If your team isn't trained well enough, she can literally scrape you off the floor and toss you right across the entire map. Like, I remember the very first time I tried fighting her, and whoo, my whole team was knocked out. I'm not messing with her. I'm just trying to find a stupid Metapod, and it's not around here anywhere. Uh, Caterpie? <clears> hmm, <throat> you know what? Sure, why not? We'll hit you with that. And... You know what? Yeah, let's switch him out. Switch him out. Come on. And we're going to get Luis to at least level 5. I want to do that at least. Let's tackle you out the damn map. 
And just like that, you're out. Oh, it's going to be a long process. If I can just run into Metapod, it'll be nice. Alright, who goes there? Ah, oh, another Caterpie. Fighting higher levels does make a difference uh, again to those who are new to Pokemon in general, like all the youngins. Levels do make a difference. If you're fighting a level 6 Caterpie with a level 4 Pokemon, you know, it'll be a lot harder on you to... I mean, not all the time. I mean, you do get critical hits, which gives them more damage in... You can seriously fight a level 4 or a level 6 Caterpie or, you know, a level 6 Pidgey and this and that. But you got to make sure that they will not faint right away. Some, depending on the types, you can get killed right away, depending on who you throw out. Others, not so much. But you learn that along the way. The reason why I'm avoiding all the Pidgeys because Pidgeys are just brutal. Sand Attack and then Gust through the entire moveset that they have and that's exactly how they win I learned that when I first started playing this and it was not fun and I don't want to fight them I'm afraid to run into a Pidgeotto right now too oh boy who do we have who do we have Canopy sweet okay oh level 5 that is perfect Luis could actually get some extra XP off that one okay alright uh I think if I hit him with one more, he should be fine. No, he's making me slow. Stop it. Oh, yes. All right, Luis, come on. You got a job to do. You need to be level five. Oh, no, no tackle. Uh, it's not too much. Like I said before, Caterpie really aren't all that strong, but they are very annoying. And I missed a tackle. Come on. Oh, I didn't miss a tackle. Whoop. Slow. And he's dead. Perfect. Sparky, Luis, level 5. Yes. 18 XP. What do you know? All right. So now we got to train others. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's keep doing this. Let's keep doing this. I might not get another one to level 5. Maybe, maybe not. Another level 3 Caterpie. Hmm. Let's see. Weaken you down a little, sir. Um, nope. Let's go to Virus, who is also my Caterpie. If I get him to level 5, it'll be perfect. Uh, Tackle. Come on. Come on, Caterpie. You're supposed to die. Man, if you don't get your wormy self out of this screen. Critical hit. Perfect. Virus. Oh, man. That's not what I was looking for. Uh, oh, well. Let's see. So we got another Pidgey. Not going to attempt it. Not at all. Nope. So let's go over here. That one matches my other category. Huh. Alright, I don't, uh, to be honest guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get another Pokemon at level 5. I mean, I'm going to be, because I don't know if I'm going to be really be recording this for a whole hour, or for 40 minutes, maybe 30 something minutes, you know, but I guess we'll see, we'll find, oh my god, no, not Virus, please don't kill Virus. Oh, that's just asking for trouble. Why am I attacking still? You know what? I need to switch out. I need to put Sparky back. Oh, I, oh my god, bro. Oh god, that's evil. Get, get him out of here. Come on, Sparky. Get him out. Get him out. He does not need to cause trouble. Oh my god. Alright, well, it looks like I'm using the last potion. 47 left that I can use. Man, that's tough. That is really, really tough. Oh, a Metapod. This is perfect. I can just throw a uh, virus out at any time now. Which, before... You know what? I'll have him actually fight. Not gonna be cheap and have Sparky do all the work. Okay. So, just gonna keep tackling. That's all I can really do. 
The only plus side is if I get Virus up to the next level and he evolves, uh, pretty much when he evolves in the Metapod, his defense goes up, which means he can take plenty of hits, and that's exactly what I need. So we're going to try this out, and I'm hoping he actually goes up a level because this one is just tough. But then again, Sparky was out first, so they're going to be sharing that XP. Come on. Now, for you youngins, if you're still learning, you see how he used Harden and it said it did nothing? Like, literally, watch. Nothing happened. When you see that message, that clearly states that they are as high in their points for defense or attack as they possibly can go, so they can't go any higher. He's at his maximum defense right now, and you can see how long it's taken me to actually knock him out. It's like draining his HP little by little. Come on. Come on, you little man. Come on. You look like Jerry Seinfeld. Come on. Would you just go already? I've never seen a cocoon with a nose. Oh my god. Come on. Just just go. Come on. Just make my life easier and just go. I'm running out of PP for this damn move. Come on. Just a little more. Come on, Metapod. Stop being stubborn. Oh, you're going to cause me to have a heart attack. Oh, just one more hit. Yes. All right, Sparky, Virus, 30 and nothing happened. What? Okay, well, this, I'm going to save here. All right, guys, don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, um, follow me on Twitter and follow me on Facebook, as well as on Twitch. I am going to be streaming more often on PlayStation, so or for YouTube. So make sure you guys tune in, hit that bell notification button, you know, so you get all the notifications of when I go on or when I release a video. But until next time, guys, this is Angel of CR Gaming. Don't forget. To